Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again. And this time we're going to look at another game in the Deco Cassette system. This game is called Skater. It is also known as Skater Gator, G A I G A I T E R, which is a really dumb title, so we're just going to do the Skater one. But this was created by Daddy East in 1983 for the Deco Cassette system. And uh it's a weird, weird game, but it's actually pretty cool. Um, you're this clown with really long legs, and uh, you, your goal is to skate over objects. You have just barely enough gap between your legs to, to uh, skate over single objects. But it's a good idea to press the button, and you'll do a splits maneuver. It'll spread your legs out and give you more room to get over the object. And sometimes there will be double objects or triple objects. And uh, you don't you don't have to go over them. You can avoid them entirely, but it's not how you're going to get points in the game. <laughs> but um, eventually, uh, animals and various creatures will come by and you'll have to skate over them too or avoid them if you can um, if your foot touches an object then uh, you have a damage meter that that drops down and if it goes to zero you'll lose a life and uh, if it touch if your foot touches an animal or a creature or uh, or a wall you will lose a life so uh, you gotta be careful um, starting on the second level there will be a pair of shoes that will appear they'll they'll walk on their own around the the screen and if you're able to move over them and really, really, you want to you want to do the splits whenever you go over anything. I mean, like I said, you have a small enough gap. You have a very small gap, but it's big enough to get over single objects. Still, just do the splits just to make sure you can get over it. Um, but at any rate, uh, the shoes, if you go over those without touching your foot on them, which would make you lose a life, you will gain limited invincibility. <laughs> and you'll get extra points for for touching uh, the objects you would normally have to uh, do the splits or pass over and um, your damage meter will be able you can fill it back up by one if you pass over one of the creatures but uh, th those those shoes uh, start on the second level and uh, here's the boot up screen but yeah I, I kinda like this game this game's kinda cool there's the top five players list and uh, another thing I really like is the credits or you know, when you put in your initials screen we'll get to that later see there's the shoes they make the clown powerful you're, you've got limited invincibility. The clown will flash when he's about to uh, change back. And those creature things that they showed, like that snake, they'll refill your hit meter by one. See, his hit hit meter went down one. There's the limited invincibility. You can speed up at any time, and it wore off because he's getting hurt and again you'll lose a life if you run into the wall let's get started see so yeah just to be s oops just to be safe you'll want to do the splits every time crap <laughs> but you'll need to do it in advance just enough and just keep hitting it if you've got a bunch of objects in a row
crap. Ah, damn it. Screw it. I'm just gonna go around all these. And that's the end of the course. And you get a bonus for each uh, part of your damage meter that was left. And there we got the the shoes. Now press up to speed up here, but get ready to stop speeding up. Because uh, you'll start getting hurt by those uh, obstacles there. Crap! Should have hit the splits button. There we go. Now you get more points for the ob obstacles. Ah, crap. <laughs> Got hit too many times. Yeah, you can get some nice points when you're invincible. But slow down by pulling back uh, when you're when you're moving too quick. Again, you have just enough gap between your legs to be able to go over the obstacles, but, I mean, single obstacles, but it's best to just do the splits in any way. Crap. Oh, I made it to the end. Yeah, 500 per uh, damage meter piece that's left. As soon as you get those shoes, press up to speed up and run through the obstacles. And your points will start to rise quickly. And again, there's the there's the creatures that you can pass over to uh, add one piece to your damage meter. It's a dog. I've heard that the clown is supposed to be a, a giant and that there's like buildings that you go over, but I've got no real confirmation on that. I mean, I see a beach ball and I see a dog, so I'm, I'm not sure. <laughs> they, they look normal sized. But yeah, pick up those shoes when you can and get ready to move up quickly. And, uh,. Pass over the buildings or whatever the hell they are. Whoa. Do not touch your feet on the animals, on the creatures, or the, uh, or the shoes. Ah, crap. Like that. Or you'll lose a life. This game is kind of cute. It's, it's, it's really weird, but it's enjoyable. I guess there's a few different spots on the level that you can that you'll restart on if you lose a life. And uh, on the last level I was almost to the end, so they they just put me just before the end, which was cool. And again, speed up whenever you get those shoes, press up and uh, Pick up more points, crap. And look for the, uh, look for the flashing on the clown to signify that the, uh, invincibility is about to wear off. We're on course six. Oh, crap. Narrow uh, pathway there. I hit my feet on the wall. But yeah. Single object or uh, or more. Do the splits just to make sure you pass by. Crap. Well, that's probably almost to the end. Whoa. I'm 
maybe not quite. Oh, there we are. And now we're on to the seventh course. That's kind of a cute game. Really weird concept, but I kind of like it. Definitely, uh, definitely one of the deco cassette systems, uh, better games. Ah, crap, I really ran out of room there. That is Skater or Skater Gator by Daddy East in 1983 for the deco cassette system. Now here, this is really cool. You get to actually write your own name. It's those three letters to the left signify what you do, and it's flashing right. So you hold down the the splits button and move the feather to write your name. You actually get to write your name. It's cool. I didn't do so great here, but oh well. It's a very cool idea. And then when you're done, you just move it over to the, uh, I think, S or E button to the far right, and then press the splits button, and you'll enter your name. I think that's incredibly innovative and cool. And there we go. <laughs> that's, just, that's just a really neat feature. But that was Skater, also known as Skater Gator. 1983 by Daddy East for the Deco Cassette System, and it's got my name written out there. That is so cool. And again, do the splits and pick up those uh, those shoes. You'll have limited invincibility, and you'll get extra points for the things that you just run over. You don't have to do the splits until he flashes, and then he'll return to normal. But yeah, do the splits to make sure you pass over those uh, buildings or whatever the heck those are safely. And those uh, creatures or beach balls or whatever will give you uh, a, a point back on your damage meter. And push up to speed up and pull back to slow back down. That is Skater, also known as Skater Gator by Data East in 1983 for the deco cassette system. I have never seen it before and it's incredibly ex obscure but if you can check it out do so it's a pretty good game. This is Crazy Climb Ready saying thanks for watching Skater also known as Skater Gator by Daddy East in 1983 for the deco cassette system. I'll see you later with another video. Take it easy folks. Bye bye.